We've all fantasized about jamming an annoying person's cell phone. Mexican free-tailed bats have figured out how to turn that dream into a reality. They jam each other's bat signals, but not because they're trying to turn down the volume. They're just trying to steal each other's meals. These bats hang out in colonies that can number in the millions, but living with so many relatives can lead to conflict. When the colony swarms out to feed at night, competition is fierce. To get an edge, the bats jam the sensory equipment of nearby buddies. Then they can swoop in and steal the meal for themselves. Echolocation is basically biological sonar. First you emit a sound, then you listen for an echo, which tells you the position and speed of things around you. And just like sonar, bats can all listen in on the same channel, at a frequency mostly above the range of human hearing. This is the sound of a free-tailed bat getting closer and closer to its target, often a flying insect. While still an orderly sound, like a normal echolocation call, the audio pulses speed up because the bat needs to get more information quickly as it nears its prey. Unfortunately, this feeding buzz also lets nearby hunting bats know that a competitor is closing in on dinner. Using triangulation, Aaron Corcoran and William Connor were able to show that when nearby bats hear the buzz, they swerve from their flight paths and hone in on the hunting bat. As these interfering bats close in, they actually try to disrupt the hunt by emitting a jamming call of their own. These vocalizations swoop up and down like a siren, covering all the frequencies made in the feeding buzz. The jamming call causes the hunting bat to lose track of its prey, and the jamming bat takes the opportunity to snap it up. We don't know whether other types of bats are using jamming to steal food from one another, but now researchers know to look out for this new adaptation in highly competitive feeding environments.